Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and this is the quick look and a review of the latest build of Windows 10 uh, build 18.329 that was released yesterday Friday uh, February 1st a rare Friday release and um, we of course uh, I've installed it late yesterday and um, it took the usual I don't know two to three hours this machine takes to update um, and uh, of course been using it for the past few hours here and uh, have no problems actually well one that you're probably gonna see when I don't actually show it I do have the mail app crash now on me um, so that's one of the problems but uh, you know I don't use the mail app really so I, I don't really care but um, it is uh, a problem that I've actually seen apart from that the usual uh, you know computer works fine seems to be quite fast seems to be good uh, I think this build is okay um, so get it if you don't have it yet 18329 what's new in here of course as we get closer to the release the official release we have less and less of these um, you know new features because it's more in the actually the team is more in the bug fixing mode than anything else so uh, we don't have that many features and it's gonna be pretty much uh, like that. I know some of you find that a little boring and yeah, I tend to understand that when you are looking for new features It's kind of boring when there's not a lot of them But at the same time, it's a better like that because I mean you want to have bug fixes It's very important after the kind of the fiasco of last year. They uh, you know, come on Windows 10's uh, need, need, Next version needs to really roll out well So what is new actually in here? Uh, first of all one note if you are not using a English language Windows it's possible you're not getting this build a lot of languages are not supported and they are uh, saying in the uh, blog post that it, there's uh, some languages that are not supported uh, including uh, and, and it's very dependent on depending on some versions of uh, Windows 10 also um, if you have home or pro uh, the different languages are different uh, for example, if you're on Pro here in, uh, in, in Canada and you use the French Canadian, the Pro version is not available. So you won't see this build appear uh, on you. So if you're not English, uh, you might not see it. It depends on the language and the version that you have um, on your PC. Uh, of course, this was, I actually saw this in the last, I don't know why they're kind of saying, um, this is new because it was already there in the last build but anyways when you go to the search box the top apps that you use are on the top and I mean I already had that in the last um, the last build I had noticed that that was there uh, so anyways they're introducing it officially that the top apps are there so you see at the top here I use Edge, File Explorer, Google Chrome, Firefox and depending on what you use you'll see the different apps appear it doesn't have to be apps from the store. It could be desktop 32 apps. It actually works. And uh, depending on your screen resolution, the more information it can display, the more top apps you'll see appear. So here I've got four, but you can have six, seven, or eight, depending on the uh, size of your screen and all the information that can be displayed. And of course, it has to do with the size of the fonts you use and all of that. So, uh, you know, kind of nice. You'll have the uh, top apps available there right there on the start on the search if you uh, want to run one of the apps that you r regularly run basically and of course at the top at the bottom you'll see the recent activities and what you've looked at and used also in uh, this build if you are a mixed reality user if you have a headset for mixed reality uh, there's now the possibility and here is what it looks like to run desktop 32 apps within the mixed reality um, so that means you would don't need to you know get out of your mixed reality headset to run a desktop 32 app you'd like to see something in it actually is going to run within your uh, mixed reality world that you see and you'll be able to of course use it there which is probably something you wish you know having not having to actually remove the headset just because you want to you know uh, view something maybe view mail or whatever you know uh, this I think is a, probably a good idea for any mixed reality user 
Uh, Adlam and Osash keyboard support, which is uh, native languages um, that are added to the computer. So, uh, you know, things like that. There's an update for insiders also on the mailing calendar. If you use mailing calendar, and you'll know that mine will probably crash. It crashes um, since I've started this morning. Uh, we'll see if it stays on or not. Yeah, it crashed again. So anyways, uh, dark mode is now extended to more items within mail and calendar. So you had dark mode. You guys probably have noticed that dark mode existed within mail and calendar. Problem is, if you were in mail and you were about to do a new email, the new window for the new email would actually not be in dark mode. So, you know, these are weird glitches and weird things that you just kind of wonder, you know, why is that like that? Why is it so weird that they do the dark mode like that? I don't know. Anyways, now dark mode extends to pretty much everything. Uh, light mode also. Um, so I think that's going to be nice for those of you that use it. Another thing that, you know, you just wonder why that wasn't part of the mail app from the start. I had so many people at the beginning of Windows 10 and I remember some of you asking me, how do I set a default font in my mail app? And there was no, there was no possibility to do so. It was, you know, you had a font, you could change the font, but it was not a default font. It would revert back to the regular fonts once you, you know, sent the email. Well, now default font is there. It exists and you can set it now so that you have a default font in your emails, which is, once again, something that should have been there a long time ago. Um, it's also not, it's dependent on your user account. So every account that you might have on the computer, each can set their own default funds, which is of course important. And it doesn't sync. So that means you are not gonna get that fund on another Windows 10 PC. Uh, it's really dependent on each machines also. So um, just to know, you gotta set it in different machines. So that's pretty much it. And uh, of course, don't forget there's the bug bash going on today and ends tomorrow, February 3rd. So check that out. Uh, lots of bug fixes, of course, in here. So check it out. Uh, I will be posting the link to the blog, blog post thanks to a um, user that uh, commented that I should actually put the link of the blog post in every bill review. And uh, I thought, yeah, you know what? That's a good idea. I, I didn't think about that before. So you can click the link in the description below the video. You will be sent to the blog post of the official build number that we are having right now. Uh, there are some issues, known issues, quite a lot of them. Uh, a few of them that uh, might be interesting to know. Uh, I know that a lot of you are saying that some of the games that you play uh, trigger a, a green screen or a blue screen. It's a known issue. If a game has an anti-cheat software with it, um, it might trigger a bug check. Windows security app may show an unknown status because it doesn't refresh properly in the uh, virus and threat protection. And if you have a Creative X5 sound card, it doesn't work well. They are working with Creative to try to make this better. There are, of course, some other issues, and that's why if you got a problem, um, click the link for the blog post and check out what are the known issues. Maybe your problem is in there. So uh, pretty much uh, all that you have. And um, if you uh, hope you, you got a, a good build here, uh, mine works well, like I said, except the mail app that crashes. But uh, for, for the rest, everything seems to be okay uh, on this build. Um, like I said, um, you know, a lot of you are saying, well, you're not showing all the, all the new features. Well, I show the new features of each build. That means if you want to see all the new features, go back and look at the videos of every build. And you'll have all the features. I'm not going to spend, you know, an hour and a half just going through everything that I've already talked about in last videos uh it would be nuts so uh that's that's why i don't you know go through all of the features i go just through what's new in the build that i'm talking about um, if you want to see more just go to the other uh, older videos that will show you the different other options in every build if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching